Hi there, here's a bit of labour market theory looking at the difference between the average and the marginal cost of hiring labour. So the marginal cost of employing a worker is the change in a business's total labour costs from employing one extra worker. Let's work through a numerical example of this so you get the concept. Let's assume that a business is employing at the moment 100 workers at an average wage of £400 per week. It wants to take on an extra 10 workers. Perhaps demand has increased, they need to expand their workforce. And to do this, it has to offer a slightly higher average wage, which we're going to assume is paid to all workers. And the wage they're going to offer is £410 per week. So if they bid up the average wage by £10, they're hoping to, to pick up an extra 10 workers. Well, let's do some simple calculations. When the firm's employing 100 workers, the total labour costs per week are 100 times £400, £40,000 per week to employ 100 workers. When they add an extra 10 workers to their payroll, the total labour costs are now 110 workers multiplied by the higher average wage, £410 per week. And if we do the number crunching, that comes to £45,100. Therefore, employing an extra 10 workers will cost the firm in total an extra £5,100 per week. In other words, for each of the extra workers, the marginal cost is £510 per week. Notice here the marginal cost is higher than the average cost because we've had to bid up the wage and pay the extra wage to the new and the existing workers. Now here are two diagrams hopefully to reinforce the point. If a firm can employ an additional worker at the same wage rate, let's say for example you can hire any amount of workers you need at a constant wage of let's say £50 per day, then the average cost of labour will be the same as the marginal cost of labour. But that's not quite the example we had previously. If we go back, our previous example, to hire extra workers, we had to bid up the wage from £400 per week to 410 So instead of this example, where we can hire workers at the same wage, it's probably more realistic to say that to hire extra workers we have to bid up the average wage and that increases the marginal cost. So if the firm has to pay higher wages to attract more workers, then the average cost of labour goes up and, crucially, the marginal cost of labour will lie above the average cost of labour. Hopefully this has helped you understand this bit of theory on the average and marginal cost of labour.